everyone, my name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Roaring Rescue, Daniel and the Dian Lion's Dead. Let's read. The story is about Daniel. God's people disobeyed him, so he left there and mistake them into captivity. They destroyed Jerusalem and carried away many people of Jews Jewish to their own country Babylon. God's people disobeyed him so He let their enemy to take them. Babylon was destroyed. Babylon has destroyed Jerusalem and They take many people away to their own country. David was the one of Jewish. In Babylon, he trusted God and prayed to him three times a day. God blessed Daniel and he became a powerful leader in that country. So Daniel was one of the Jewish. And they, Daniel became a great leader and many wise men was jealous and they tried to find their fall. Daniel prayed three times a day. Some leaders were jealous of Daniel, so they made a new rule. People could only pray to King Doris, whoever disobeyed would be thrown into the lion's den. Jurors agreed. So, leaders of Babylon was jealous of David and Daniel because Daniel was the was a hot position than they were. So, they tried to find their Daniel's fault, but there were no fault of Daniel. So, but they knew, no, that Daniel was praying to God three times a day. So, they have gone to the king and said, whoever Praise someone else. Then they, he, that person should be thrown into the lion's death. Question God blessed Daniel and made him powerful leader in Babylon. True. Daniel still prayed to God and was arrested. The rest was sad. He liked Daniel. He realized that he had been tricked, but couldn't change the rule 
Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. So Daniel knew the no the new world, but still he prayed to God. And the rest the king was so sad because he liked Daniel. And he also knew that he was tricked by the people who were jealous of Daniel. So, but it was a rule, so he couldn't change the rule. They're happy, right? That's not good. The lions roared and crept up to Daniel. Then an angel arrived. It was God who sent him. The angel shut the lion's mouth. Daniel spent the night there unharmed it. So Daniel was thrown into the lion's death. And Daniel prayed and there were an angel shut the lion's mouth. So yes in there. And the angel held Daniel. God has sent the angel, right? Question. Was Daniel arrested and threw into the lion's death because he prayed to God? Yes. It was a rule. At daybreak, Daniel Duras went to see if Daniel was alive. God sent an angel to save me, Daniel said. The king was thrilled. Daniel was pulled out from the den. So, the king Darius could not sleep that night and he did not eat anything because he was too worried about Daniel. So next day, he checked Daniel and Daniel was alive. So... Daniel was pulled out from the lion's, lion's den. The, then King Darius had Daniel's enemies thrown into the den. The lions grabbed them all. King Darius told everyone in his kingdom to honor Daniel's powerful living God. So. King said to respect and believe the one true God who what they who David believes. Question When Daniel was thrown into the den, God's angel protect him. From what kind of animal? Number three, the lion. Yes, today are the Bible story. Did you enjoy it? And next time I will read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye!